Hi everyone and welcome to Makeup for 40 Plus. Sorry I'm a bit late um, with my giveaway. I've been a bit late with my giveaway. It was because um, I've really not been well this week and unfortunately my daughter ended up in hospital and I haven't had a lot of sleep. So everything's fine now. Um, I am doing my makeup for my giveaway which I'm really excited for. So I thought I would film because um, if you've seen my giveaway you'll know that it's many of my favorite products so um, what I thought I'd do is I'd just do a get ready with me using some of the products I'll be giving away so I've done one side of my face I'm just I've done most of the other side of my face so I'll just zoom in while I do this last eye so this is what I'm doing this isn't part of the giveaway but I'm using the um, going in the wild palette um, to do my eyes so but I'll talk you through everything as I go. So let's get started and stop rattling off. So first of all, I'm going to be using my um, shadow insurance. Never do my makeup without using my shadow insurance. It's just brilliant. Keeps everything locked absolutely in place. I just love it. I'm just going to move my mirror because I've changed my setup for my makeup a bit. And... Um, so that I can do my makeup collection which everybody's been madly requesting. So next thing I'm going to do is I am going to use my 24-7 in, um, this one is in Belly Beige, if I can get it in shot, and this is one of the products I am giving away in this month's giveaway, yay! I love this, it's a beautiful champagne-y um, colour with just a hint of gold but it doesn't come off very gold so I'm just going to put that all over the top of the shadow insurance particularly on my eyelid so I am really making sure it's on my eyelid and then I'm just dragging what's left on the brush up to my brow bone so it's not really intense like it is on my um, lid so the first color I'm going to go with in with is this brow bone shade on this side which is the cream excuse my nails I haven't done them and I am working on ways to I am hearing everybody requesting um, the some nail tutorials I'm not ignoring you I'm prepping to do those so next color I'm going to go in with is this yellowy gold other brow bone color and I am just going to put that on the first third of my lid because it's this pretty gold sort of yellow shade and I've got black and white on today with some gold jewelry so I just wanted to add a pop of color rather than going with a black and white so and I know you guys are still in spring summer over there so I thought this was a bit of a spring summer eye as it's nice and starting to get warmer today now I am going to go in with, if I can find it, one of my Real Techniques brushes and this is also part of my giveaway this month. So this is a, um, what is it, a crease, a base shadow brush and I am just going to go in with this beautiful teal colour um, and I am going to put that in the middle part of my eye, just blending a bit over the gold and dragging it out a bit. And then I'm just going to go back in and pick up a bit more of that gold and blend it over the top of that greeny teal colour. So I'm just cleaning up and using the other side of the brush so I just want to blend that so there's no harsh lines. Then I am going to take one of my favourite e.l.f. brushes and I believe this is called a, um, let me see, can't see the name of it, it's a blending brush I think, it's this one. This is also part of the giveaway because I love these brushes. I'm taking this beautiful, um, it's a really unusual colour, it's sort of torpy and it's got a little bit of purple in it. What I love this e.l.f. brush for is I love pushing colour into my crease. And I actually use it often for my outer V as well. So I'm just taking that torpy colour 
and I'm just pushing that right into my crease to give me a bit of definition and some transition a transition colour. Now I'm going to come back and blend that shortly so just excuse the mess. Now I'm going to take this Real Tex Techniques ugh, Real Techniques this is the um, brow brush but I use it a lot for eyeliner. I'm going to take this deep green nearly black colour and I'm just using it dry on this shadow on this eyeshadow brush and I am just pushing it along my lash line I love this because it gives you something a bit different than if you to use a um, oh, you know liquid eyeliner of which of course I do love but it just gives a different look and I'm just also taking that under my bottom lash line to add a bit of depth and intensity and then I'm just going to push that up and carry that on so that it blends when I add my next colour. Next, and of course it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't get a hair, I am using one of these Miraness. This is the long wear, um, this one's in black so I've got a variety of these which you will have seen in my um, giveaway for August. If you haven't, please check it out and enter. It's so simple. I don't ask you to do much really so um, and as you can see these go on beautifully so and I just close my eye and do that then I am going back with my Real Tech at Neeks base shadow brush and I am just going to go in with that dark green and just do my outer V with this just to darken up the outer edge as you know I love to do so I've sort of got that darker colour blending into the lighter greens and then the gold. And I'm not packing this on, I'm just blending it really lightly. So hopefully just building up the colour and the intensity for what I want. Then I am going to go in with this deluxe, um, this is the deluxe crease brush and I'm going to go in back in with that taupey um, colour that I used in my crease and I'm just tapping a little bit onto the end of the brush, not much at all, but just to give me a bit of colour so I can blend from the crease up into my brow area a little bit more just to blend out all those colors and make sure there's no harsh lines and just to add that bit of color because I've got hooded eyes when I close my eye all that color disappears so just to give me a bit of color going in with my fan brush because as you can see I've got a bit of fallout so just going to get rid of that so now I haven't finished this side of my face because I wanted to show you how I use some of the other products that I will be giving away that are in this month's giveaway. So <clears throat> just stamp that outside bit to give me a bit more of a wing so that my eyes are a little more even. Just touching up my eyeshadow now. Okay, so... One of the things I'm giving away is one of my favourite products and this is the Age Rewind. This one is in brightening so I'm just going to use this to not only brighten under my eyes but to also um, just clean up any fallout. So I always run this sort of up into the corner of my eye and then I sort of dab and blend. You can use a um, the Real Techniques crease brush for this as well. It works really nicely. So that's another option if you want it. So as you can see, it's sort of cleaned up under my eye quite nicely. Now the other thing I've been using lately is Reserve Your Cabana by um, Wet n Wild. Now I know this is a bronzer. I know people use it for highlight. But I actually just put a really small amount on my brush and use it to set my under eye concealer and I actually find that it really brightens up my inner eye area which I'm not complaining about. I love. So 
Let's see, what else have I got that I am going to do? Mascara. One of the mascaras I'm giving away is a Miraness mascara and I absolutely love it. This is just in different packaging but it's the, still the 24-7, a uh, 24 hour mascara and I just love this mascara. It goes on so well and it is it just lengthens, it separates, it gives volume, it's a really nice rich black um, and yeah I've got nothing bad to say about it. The other thing is is Miranas mascara is quite different to other mascaras in that it creates a tube on your eye lashes so when you wash your face and cleanse your face you don't get Pander eyes that just comes off you wet your eye for a little while and you literally just peel the mascara off your eyelashes which is just fabulous in my book so that's mascara the other thing I'm using is um, the other thing I'm giving away is a small bottle of the high beam so I've just got this is like a nail polish just going to dot a couple of bits on my cheek. I've already done the other side and I'm just going to put a bit on my Cupid's bow and what's left I'm going to use just to put a bit of colour on the inside of my eye so just making sure that I blend that out really well using my Deluxe Crease Brush just adding a bit of that there blending this out over my top lip Sorry, it would help if I was in shop, wouldn't it? And then just a pinch in the center. So I will, oh, hang on, eyebrows. And of course I dropped something, but luckily it's not something I need. So once again, video complete, can't talk, drop something and have a hair. So all three. Maybe I need to get all those things out of the row before I actually film. So now I'm just doing my eyebrows. I'm actually using Tarte um, our eyebrow mousse, which I really like, and just spilling them through. And I am, and I just dropped a lid of that. How's that? So I'll just zoom wrong way. Sorry, people. So I'll just zoom back out. And one last thing, finishing touch, Scandinavia skin finish. So. To keep it all set and if anything's too powdery just you know makes it settle down so I'll just quickly stand up and show you today I'm wearing this stripy black and white top I've just got a pair of black jeans on I've also got this beautiful necklace which is gold with a couple of little stones and these really fine little flowers and then these um, little owl earrings which have got a bit of teal in them which is what inspired me to add a little bit of green to um, green to my lids today because I just love these with the bit of pink and the teal and the blue so I just thought I'd add that so that's my get ready with me for my giveaway and I hope you're all keeping really well have a fabulous time whatever it is that you're doing and I'll talk to you all again soon thanks for watching bye